Everybody's always watching, especially the kids. Even when you don't think the kids is watching, the kids is watching. <laughs> they see everything and kids don't do it. We say they do what you do. So instead of trying to tell the kids what to do, do what the kids are supposed to be doing. Do it and do it around the babies, most importantly. I remember I used to read a lot. I mean, I read a lot. This is what I do. And um, my son was a baby. He used to walk around with this chess book in his hand. <laughs> hey, he couldn't read. He was just a baby. But he just knew he should have a book because he sees daddy with a book. <laughs> so he'd walk around with that book everywhere. Um, and you see him with a book now. So these habits pick up as long as you make sure the kids are seeing you with these habits. If the kids see you lazying around, they're going to mimic that. That's what I should be doing. You're my first example of things. So that's why I said, you know, you asked me if I'm a mentor and I'm like, I gotta be. I mean, fucking got 190,000 Twitter followers and, you know, 50 something thousand YouTube subscribers. It's like, I uh, stream and get millions of hits and impressions. It's like, as we're here and we're, you know, that word impression, right? We take it so loosely, it's just some arbitrary digital marketing metric. And it's like, no, what is the impression that you make upon people when they see you, when they perceive your being? You know, like, how do they feel after they leave your presence, after they leave your transmission? How do they feel? Right. So, like, you know, our show, we do every Thursday, tonight, actually. Hotel's been told you, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on my YouTube channel, Hotel Jesus. People always say it's like, we're their relief. You know, they listen to all this news and the world seems like it's going to end. Yep. And then they come and they watch our show and they're like, you guys make it seem like all these world problems are just one big joke. <laughs> right. And it comes full circle to our earlier conversation where I was telling you, man, you got to make a joke of this shit. You know, and you got to do it. And I hate to go all Deepak Chopra on us, but vibrationally. And I'll be very, I'm very scientific when I go into my spiritual stuff. When somebody's scared or when somebody's cold, they shake. That's vibration. When you speak without the larynx and all of that, without your vocal cords, ain't no sound coming out. Not sharp sound that you can craft into words and sing. These vibrations mean something. Now, just because you can't detect it on the physical level doesn't mean they can't strap a device to you and detect it. In fact, they call these things uh, EKG. They also have the ones that they do for the lie detector test. Yeah. What do they do when they hook you up to these machines? They're measuring the frequency of your body. So when you sit there and you watch this video of somebody getting their head blown off, this kid getting his head blown off by the cops and and, and this is the eighth time you've had to watch this black man shot in the street. And everybody's telling you that police out to get you on this white supremacy and all this other stuff. That stuff takes a toll on you vibrationally. When you're in that circumstance, you get pulled over by a cop. You have a situation like Sandra Bland, RIP. To someone who was turned up because of the media hype hoopla yeah. and all of that. So when she was at a traffic stop, dude was about to let it go with a warning. But she just couldn't stay calm long enough. She was in the wrong vibrational state. And therefore, the cop got agitated and escalated. She ended up dead. Right? Sad tale. So I'm always cognizant of the impressions that I put out that put people, what's the vibrational state? When you come and you interact with Hotep Jesus, how did you say you felt when you left? Did you feel down? Did you feel up? Majority of the time people watch Hotep's been told you, they're like, man, that's this is my show. Cause they afterwards they feel good, they feel great, they laughing. They get to kick back, have a little bit of wine and just laugh. And that's so valuable. That's why comedy is so valuable. They even in Asia, they do laugh therapy. People come up with diseases. They're like, yo, we're going to put you on laugh therapy. People get better, <laughs> right? 
because the 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 natural healthy homeostasis of the body has a frequency for each individual and we got to find that and if we can find that we 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 lead healthy lives and a lot of that has to do with mood so you talk about impressions and being a mentor the first thing i want to just impress upon people is lead with the best example of yourself every time out everything you do the best version of yourself that tweet you was going to send was it the best version of yourself mm. that reply to that person clean it up clean it up take take some of the even they were cursing at you cool take some of the vitriol out of that mm -hmm. out of that tone that you're about to send come out of yourself become the watcher and respond like god will respond from a place of wanting to understand from a place of wanting to find a middle ground. Speak to each other that way and we'll, we'll render the left impotent.